Hi guys! So today we are gonna do uh, not exactly a sasti bhen, but basically two products that I feel are similar, uh, very different in like terms of a price range, and I've been using them for a few months, and I love them. Okay, so we have two lipsticks. So we have the Etude House Fixing Tint, which I've been using forever. You guys have seen me use this a lot. We have the Mac Lock Kiss um, lipstick also, which I've been using since I think. Uh, April, May now. So yeah, both these, we're going to compare them and we're going to taste them. They're both like mask proof, waterproof, uh, kiss proof and so on. And uh, I just feel like they essentially do the same thing as lipsticks for me at least we are going to compare them and i'm going to take you through that whole process but first i'm going to start with applying this one this is the etude house fixing tint in analog rolls which is i think the most used shade by me and it glides on really really easily it's very pigmented and what i love is it's buildable so if you see right now i've just done like one coat on the lower lip and then you know smudge my lips together so if you want like a tint type feel, this is great. If you want more like a lipstick type feel, then you fill it in. As you can see, this is really pigmented. It stays this way the whole day, okay? I have worn this to weddings, to events. I think even in one of my recent vlogs, uh, you guys saw me where I went for my friend's baby shower and I had this on. Like four or five hours had passed, I came back, it looked exactly the same. So once it dries, it doesn't really budge. It's really, really great in that sense. In terms of shades, this is great. It has the whole Korean palette. So it goes from an extremely like nude nude to like the peachy pinky tones. That really is something that attracted me to this first. But the formulation is so good that it's something that I use pretty much every second day. Okay, with the MAC Lock Kiss, uh, today I'm using the shade uh, Meticulous number 67. Just to show you a bit of a variation because this is more of a like a nudie brownie shade and I really like it. Glides on really easily. It's really thin. Like you feel like you have nothing on your lips right now. Like I don't feel like I have a matte lipstick on. You know, normally matte lipsticks are heavier, thicker. Um, and there is that difference for sure, like this is definitely much, much lighter and thinner than the Etude House one. Like right now, if I were to just close my eyes, I don't feel like I'm wearing lipstick, which is pretty amazing. So the fixing tint is priced at $9.50, which I think is pretty good for the kind of product it is. Uh, it's always, almost always on discount. It's actually nine, like $8.50 right now off uh, like some random discount. Also in terms of the product, it lasts forever. I've been using this for a few months I use it a lot and I still haven't had to buy a new one so I feel like that way it's really giving you value for your money and uh, overall the look and feel of the product is really really good okay first up we're doing a tissue test let's see how this fares okay now time for the tough one this is the water test The next test is, is it kiss proof? In terms of pigments, uh, the MAC ones definitely are slightly more pigmented. But the good thing about these is it's buildable, you know. Uh, like every Korean tint, you can go with a really light tint, you can go with a graded tint, you can go with like a full on lipstick. Like I've applied it if you want to. And I feel like that offers you like more variance in terms of the products because you can use it in different ways. Shades, as I said earlier, I feel like the MAC ones seem to be more along the lines of a darker palette, which is more like that, you know, brown or darker pinks and so on. I do have a great shade, however, that I bought from Singapore, which I haven't seen here yet. Uh, with the House, as I said, it's more peach pink. There is a nude, but it's all very like peachy, pinky. And it has that Korean vibe to it, which is really cool as well. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, but they also have darker shades. Definitely, there are some pointers that I will say that you see some differences for sure. Uh, formulation wise, that is thicker. This is thinner. In terms of the mask proof, waterproof, you know, all of those things, I do feel like this is slightly stronger for sure. Uh, does not come off at all. Like you've seen, I've been wearing it, we've doused it with water 
you know kissed myself uh, used a tissue did everything it did not budge and i think that is something i will say this lipstick definitely does it claims that it stays for 24 hours i mean obviously i don't think anyone wears lipstick for 24 hours but i have uh, seen it even under extreme conditions so when i was shooting in malaysia for the travel show i had used to wear this one for like 6 7 hours and it didn't budge with like sweat you know not smudging at all in terms of price this one is priced at 3050 in india which is quite pricey um as we saw the etoul house one is 950 i will say that there is that difference in terms of price for sure and you have to kind of see what works for you in terms of the waterproof kiss proof and uh, tissue proof and all of that um this one is 100% like literally nothing budged that one slightly budged which i mean i'm very forgiving with that honestly because i really don't think it's that much considering the price difference the one stand out feature is definitely the formulation that's thicker uh but it's also more buildable this is kind of like if you just wear one layer you feel like you don't have a matte lipstick on and it stays on and it looks amazing feels amazing overall definitely the price difference i guess somewhere is justified because obviously this gives you more as i said it's a personal preference if you're someone that loves mac you will definitely love this lipstick it's also a budget uh, situation if you are on a budget you would prefer those cuz you could get like three of those for the price of one like mac lipstick there are no cons i think to either one other than the the price with the mac one but then i mean it's mac and uh, you can see that slight elevation or difference as i said in the product um so i wouldn't exactly say that one is like a sasti behan of this one but they're pretty similar in my experience of using them let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and the tests that we did um i really enjoyed this comparison because these are two products that i both like i love both of them and i use both of them a lot despite the price difference and so on some shades in this are amazing some in this are amazing and it kind of depends on the situation as i said but let me know if this video helped you kind of make a decision if you were thinking of either of these lipsticks it's not about being better or worse they're both great also let me know if you guys want to see more comparison videos like this if you guys want to see festive lipsticks i want to do like my top 5 top 10 lipsticks for the festive season let me know if you guys want me to do that in the comments as well uh maybe i will do that so guys comment below with uh, the 100 things i have asked you for and i hope you found the video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon bye Mwah.